Beautiful Unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this review of the, wait, why did I put it over here? The Certified Tropical Wonders palette, uh, the one that looks like this. I know a lot of you have been dying to see this review, so I thought that now that I have really tried this palette and really like got to know this palette, I can tell you how I feel about it. Um, the palette, well the palette looks like, first of all, the palette looks like this. It has a beautiful like lion with some like tribal patterns and colors on the back and the front. It has some ingredients here on the back and it says that it is vegan and cruelty free on the side. Certify is a, I'm guessing, an indie brand that is UK based and the palette is 30 pounds so it's got gotta be like $35 or something like that. I don't know if it says how much it is. Yeah, it says 18 times 1.4 grams. That is actually quite a, an okay amount of eyeshadow. That is like almost the amount you would get in a normal single eyeshadow. So this is a good amount of product. Even though I don't know why I'm mentioning these things, I don't really care about those things. But just so you know that you are getting quite an okay amount of products. There are 18 shades, so there are like two nine pan palettes <laughs> stacked on top of each other. And this would be a standalone palette with the matte highlight and the black. <laughs> I don't care. It is a very pleasing color scheme though. And if you are one of those people that loves when thing goes, things goes in a gradient, you better be loving this palette because look at how aesthetically pleasing these shadows are like put together. I don't mind when things are jumbled up but this looks really nice. It has some brights and it has some muted colors as well like this dusk and shrimp and also like typhoon down here in the bottom. Those are more muted colors that you could actually, I'm not gonna say you're gonna do a, a, a neutral a neutral look but it doesn't have to be that bright. I would say some of these shadows are of a more thinner consistency, so maybe you don't exactly get what you see in the pan uh, when you use it, but all in all I've been really pleased with this palette. I will say though that this uh, Red Sea and Equator, they didn't really uh, go that well together with Toucan because I felt like them together didn't give me the brightness that I wanted. Um, but they are not like bad shades, but they're not as bright as you can see here on the eyes. Same with this Atlantic, which is a shame because it is the color that I look forward to the most together with Honey Creeper. Atlantic is a bit thin, so it is not as vibrant on the eyes as you see here. But these shadows actually build quite nicely, and I didn't have any problem blending them on my eyes. I use a fluffy brush with natural hairs that has, it feels a bit scratchy on the eyes, but those brushes are amazing uh, if you want to work with like colorful shadows like this and you want to make sure that you actually blend them properly. Using something with natural hair, I feel works really good with colorful shadows like this. So I'm going to swatch them all on my arms and I'm going to show you some close-ups and I'm going to tell you again when I swatched them which shades I felt were a bit thinner. But just breaking it down for you easy. I like this palette. It is a slim, nice cardboard packaging. It is a... I like the packaging a lot. If we want to take up the mirror aspect, no mirror, I don't care. I've traveled with this, so I'm guessing that other people could as well. I can't be comfy on this chair. <laughs> don't mind me. Oh, by the way, I did film this look, but it's not with this palette. It is with the Saharan 2. It's coming up, I think. Yeah, it's coming up. Would you like me to film something with this palette? Let me know down below what you would like me to film with this palette. Would you like me to film with this palette alone? Would you like me to match this palette with some other palettes that I have? I did do a look with this palette together with Sigma Creme, Creme Couture and it was really pretty. Like, let me know down below and if you see a suggestion you like, give that suggestion a thumbs up. Like, like the suggestion. I think you give it a heart so I know which one you actually want me to do and I will film that. So yeah, let me swatch all of these, um, but yeah, short story, I like this palette. I think it's worth the money and I would buy it again. If, if this one got lost, I'll buy another one. And yeah, I did buy this by the way, I didn't, I didn't uh, get this in PR, I don't even know if they send out PR. But let's just go through this row by row. They feel really buttery when you touch them. That white, oh that was a bit falling out, I think I took too much. That white is really nice. Do you see how nice this is? 
So yeah, these three first shades, I have no problem working with either one of these. They're beautiful. So that is the first three shades here. Did you see though that when I touched them, you see the white, some of it fell down? These are not hard, so you do get up a lot of product on your brush when you touch them. So don't go swirling around them. They're not as much kick up as like the subculture, but there's definitely a bit of kick up to the product. Even though they don't feel dry, they do feel somewhat creamy. Next three shadows are Sunray, Toucan, and Red Sea. So Red Sea, you see how this swatches, but it didn't feel like it, like it melted together with the orange really when I used it on my eyes. Maybe I was having a bad day, because it looks beautiful now. Look at that. You know what? What did I do to make this not work on my eyes? Maybe you want me to try this again and do another look with those, because they look beautiful. I did a beautiful look, but I felt like the, the yellow and the orange was the ones showing the most in the look. I didn't feel like I got the reds true, but this one looks beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't swatched this on, swatched this before. I've only used it on my eyes, but that swatches like a dream. So I'm guessing that maybe this one works better if you don't layer it on top of too many colors. But that is a very vibrant um, primal red. It reminds me a lot of the one I love from the Pure Mangled Pony collection. Although I have to say that this one is even brighter. Next is Equator, which is more of a raspberry red, hibiscus, and firefish. This last one, firefish, it is absolutely stunning. I love that and this pink one is so beautiful too. But this purple fire firefish, I mean honestly I love that color. That color is so beautiful. I would buy this palette again just to get that color. Firefish and Honey Creeper are my two favorite shades in this palette, together with Swamp. They're so nice. Okay, getting into the fourth row, it's Honey Creeper, Starling, and Atlantic. I love Honey Creeper. Like I said, it is one of my favorite shades in the palette. I wish this Atlantic was a bit more... Like, it's so vibrant in the pan, but I don't feel it is as vibrant like on the eyes or... Well, I just wish it was a bit more vibrant because I love a color like that. You can see here it swatches pretty okay, but it doesn't swatch as even and as bright as the other colors. So it is a shame because Atlantic it is the color I would have wanted to be better. I did do a look with it and I really liked it, but I just wish it was a teensy bit brighter so that you would be able to do an all blue look with this palette. But who cares? I have a zillion blue eyeshadows. I could just use this one and bring in another blue. I'm just saying that this is not the best shadow in the palette. But like these four here, so good. So now we're doing Coast, Bermuda, and Fruit Dove. This Fruit Dove, the last one, it is also a bit sheer. You see, this blue actually works better. The Coast, it works better than... Um, Atlantic and this one that's called Bermuda. I did a look with this one and it was beautiful. This Fruit Dove, I did use this as a transition shade when I did a green look. It is a bit, I feel like I'm like all over the place, it is a bit more sheer than the other ones so it is not as vibrant as the other two greens like this one and the one I'm going to show you afterwards. It is a nice color though and if you would to do a all green look you could totally do this in, as a transition and then on the lid it will totally work. It's just that when you start blending it this one does sheer out a bit. So we're down to the last row. This is Swamp. It is one of my favorite colors in the palette. It's Typhoon which is actually I think maybe the only color in the palette that I haven't used on my eyes. And then it's Bonaboo. Bonaboo? Bonnaboo was actually a bit broken when I got the palette, so that's why it's looking so dirty around it, but I have used it. It's really nice though. This is Swamp. It is, do you see how good that matches my shirt perfectly? And this is Typhoon, the grey one. Mm, that is a bit too powdery and too weak for me. I have other greys that I love more. And this is the last one, which is Bonnaboo. This is an extremely deep and 
matte black. This is a nice black. The only pr problem is that it is a bit hard to blend because of it being so cold pitch black. So if you are using that color, go in very light handily, handedly <laughs> and just blend it as you go so you don't smack it on and then start blending. You might have a problem. I, I really like the intensity of this black, but it's not the easiest one uh, to blend, so to speak, but it is a really matte black. But this one, Swamp, and these purples here, they're my absolute favorites in the palette. I really like this yellow as well, and now that I see this red light, what happened when I used that? I need to give that one another try. But as you can see, all in all, this is a really fun and colorful palette. And I would say that these are not some of them have more of a thin consistency, like I said this blue especially, and and also this green, but the thing is that you can build them and get more color, and I had no problem with working with most of these colors. And if you didn't notice, all of these are mattes, and I think that that is the most exciting thing about this palette, because Everybody throws in a colorful shimmer or a colorful metallic in all of their palettes, but nobody's doing colorful mattes, and that is what this palette is bringing that's unique. This palette is unique because it is all matte, it is all bright, and most of them are really, really, really nice. So I would recommend this palette, but if you have not worked with colorful shadows before, you might be intimidated by some of these being a bit more thin, so I wouldn't recommend this being your first colorful palette. But if you've already tried some colorful shadows and you want to extend your collection, this one could be perfect for you. I think it's beautiful. I will link the site down below where I got it. Last time I checked, it was still in stock. Maybe they'll do some like Black Friday sale or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sponsored to do this video and I bought this myself, so I really have no clue what's going on in the sales department and Black Friday things and stuff like that. Uh, I will say though, like I said before, the black shadow came a little bit broken because I do feel like they need to up how they package the things. It came bubble wrapped and in an envelope, like in a uh, plastic envelope, the one that has a bit of a padding. I think they need to use a bit more bubble wrap to make the palette more secure within the package because it was in bubble wrap but like jumbling around within the envelope, the plastic envelope, I think they need to use a bit more to make it secure within the package and then I think they would have no problem with uh, getting it shipped to people. But I didn't contact the customer service to get that fixed because it was just a little bit and I, I really don't care. I would also say that the packaging, even though it's nice and I like that it's like long like this and I love the square pants, I love everything about it, but it is not the glossy finish, it is like the Jaclyn palette, you know, so it will get dirty around the pants. I wish that it was more glossy, but I mean, it's a small brand and I think this is like their second eyeshadow palette or something. They do have other things on their site, so I mean, let's hope they do more exciting things than this because I'm really happy I got this. Yeah, don't forget to let me know down below what would you like me to do with this palette because I want to film something for you but I want to make sure I film something that you actually want to see. And I think that was everything. Let me know how you feel about this palette, let me know how you feel about me doing quicker reviews like this. Even though I don't know if this is quicker but I felt like it was quicker. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, the button is down below, I'd love to have you. And I will see you in my next video which will be real soon.